Hi, this is the first part in a two-part video on how I make and then paint my converted Chaos Space Marine bikers. Okie doke, let's get started. Right, let's get into uh, making my Chaos bikers then. So for that I need, uh, I've got a few kits. I've got the Chaos uh, Space Marine bikers set. Although, admittedly, I don't use many parts out of that. Um, a set of the Space Marine Outriders, and then just lots of general uh, chaos bits from other kits. I'll go, I'll go through them as I use them. Yeah, so it looks something like this when it's finished. Not like that. Just made another one. And then I'm gonna make another two. Okay, so you want to get the Outrider kit and get it to this sort of uh, stage. So you want to pull it that. So this sort of stage. So you've just got the... Just pull it apart, I haven't glued it. Come on, off you go. There we go. Yeah, so just the basic bike. And then before you glue this chap in, this chap's bottom, we, um, we're going to use the bottom half there and chop off the, the back of him off. Uh, I, I keep the legs to be honest because I think it's more trouble than it's worth trying to put chaos, chaos legs on there. So I just use the Outrider ones. So yeah, so we've got some snippers. We're going to snip off the, the back of this guy. Down to the roughly where the I did it on the last one where the belt buckle is. No, just below. Just below. So it's literally just in line with the flat part there. Okay, snip away. Get rid of that. Here's my file. Get it nice and flat. Whoops. Just about the way. Spare bits there. And then I got the uh, torso from the Chaos Space Marine kit. I use this one because this one's, these ones have the little belt at the bottom there. And uh, the ones on the Chaos Space Marines like uh, infantry box set, they, most of the, most of them have the, like just that bit showing. So you have to do a bit more gluing together before you get that and then chop the bottoms off. So I thought I'd just use that one for simplicity. Yeah, so the only thing I really use is the back, a few of the backpacks from the Chaos Space Marines bikers, the torsos, and then to make them, if you ever go into any tournaments or anything, the right, the right base size, they have to be on a, I think it's a 70 mil base that and the Outriders, Outriders come on a <clears throat> 80, 85, I'm not sure. So yeah, they just about fit on the, just about. So I don't think anyone's gonna argue with that if you go to a tournament. Where were they? Right, so yeah, so we're going to glue this onto there, onto that ball there, the bottom part. The only thing is you've not got a lot to glue on there because it's dished on the inside. So I'm going to fill that with a little bit of a blue tack or white tack. You could use um, green stuff. If you want, I'll just shove a bit of this in with some super glue. And it works just fine. We get just a little bit, flat it, flatten it out. 
Trust it as more surface for it to glue to. Something like that, perfect. Okay, so you got some super glue. Just gonna pop a little bit in the dished part. Oh. Oops. Pop the uh, white tack in there. Just have a look how this fits in. So it goes in lovely. Okay, like that. This will go on there like that. That's fine. Okay. Now I'm going to put some whoop, super glues overflowing. Super glue on the bottom of that. Okay, Koki. I think I'm going to actually glue that uh, Space Marine butt into the seat. So I've got some uh, plastic glue for that. Liquid poly. I prefer this one from Humbro than the, uh, the little droppery bottle style ones. You can get a bit more uh, accuracy where you're putting it with your uh, with the brush. Okie dokie. Pop him in there. There we go. And then I just spot to put this. That's about right. Me. Something like that. Can I still get the backpack on there? There's room for the backpack. That's good. Okay. So that torso is on there. You can either wait for that to dry, or you can. I I use this stuff for. For um, mitre bond, it's for set. It's uh, what's it? What do they use it for? Like they use it for uh, skirting boards and things like that for setting the glue off. But it also sets um, super glue off. So just give it a spray, and then that dries in seconds instead of minutes. paper just evaporates and then glued on already that is fabulous okay I'm gonna once we've got the torso on uh, oh yeah so just uh, you know, the special oh yeah I've had to snip off the little uh, noggins at the bottom so it'll fit on a smaller base and then a couple of little things on these legs because obviously the space marine legs so that one had a um, a purity seal on so I've just snipped it as best I can and then filed it to try and get it as smooth as possible it's quite difficult though but I think when that's paint when that's sprayed up and painted and everything you won't be able to tell that'll be fine okay so let's try that in the side bits yeah that one's spot on that one all right so let's glue them in Left that loose, little there uh, because it's just a little pin thing that goes in there. So I've left that loose so I can, because obviously I've got to muck about with an arm trying to get onto that fist there in a, in a bit, so that any any little wiggle room will help there. Okie dokie. Now let's put the next bit on. That should just slip on in. There we go. Wonderful. There we go. Okay. 
No, the next part will be the arms, I suppose. So, oh, this is another thing I've used from the cast kit, but the previous two I've used um, arms from the Chaos Space Marine Infantry Kit because these just don't quite look chunky enough to me but we'll see how it looks because that would be much handier because the pose is already correct all I've got to do is snip off the hand so let's try that, we'll try see how it looks and it's got a shoulder pad on it might look okay so we're just going to snip off the hand let's try it in place a few times and see what we can Bit fiddly. So yeah, I think just snipping it off right a bit. Ow. All of a sudden. Yeah, that's going to go on. Spot on, isn't it, that? Beautiful. I can show you better. Look at that. That'll do me nicely. So I'll just uh, file off that little rough edge. Okay, so pop it on there. On there. On the back of the hand. Doesn't quite, there's any little gaps, that's fine. Whoops. Maybe it's glued a bit there. Alright, that does, looks good. Lovely. So once that, that's dry, if there's any gaps, we'll fill them. I think that's going to be okay. It looks like it's, it's going to glue together. Like on this one, I think this was the, so the Outrider Sergeant bike. And I've had to do a little bit of filling on this, as you can see there. Um, that, I think that's where his chainsaw sits in. So there's a little hole for that. And also he's got like a funny shaped wrist. I'd like to snip it, oh, sorry, I'd like to snip this one and uh, it only joined and glued there at the base and then there was a gap at the top. What we'll use for that, for filling in this handy little product, um, plastic putty by Vallejo, fantastic stuff. It's got a very thin nozzle on it. You can get right in all these cracks, squeeze it in like toothpaste or something, and then it goes hard, and you can just file it down. Brilliant, great for gap filling. Okay, right, so the other arm, this guy is not going to be the sergeant, this guy is the champion, this guy is going to be a chainsaw dude. So you can put, you can put the other arm on. That arm should just fly on somewhere. There's some pose. Not having any issues with the chainsaws as yet. Look at that, that. Let's pop the chainsaw down. Right, so I'll do that and I'll do the backpack. Do the backpack first. For this back backpack will just fly on because this one's out of the biker's kit and it's a biker torso with a little round blobby thing to stick on. So it goes on like so. But my champion one might have a little bit more trouble. 
because I used a torso from the biker box, but the I wanted the icon backpack from the Legionnaires box. That's the word I'm looking for, Legionnaires. So I've had to cut that into a more square shape. That's what's in there. So that should fit on when I come to do it. Happy days. Right, let's pop his chainsaw on. Pose there, chainsaw down. Could dance up some loyalists. So yeah, so I feel like I can put his head on. So I've used the because the biker ones look a bit dated and a bit pants nowadays. I've used a one of the uh, legionnaires ones. So. Yes, yeah, so I've pre-cut most of this, so I haven't got to clap about. My shoulder pads ready to go. Oh, I didn't file it though. My shoulder pad on. Done there. Not too bad. Not too difficult. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. Okay, so now it's just a, a matter of chaosifying the bike up a bit so it doesn't look just like he's nicked a outrider's bike. Okay, so what I've done is I've raided some other kits. Um, I've got some chaos icons from like this corn ones from the, the uh, chaos rhino uh, sprue. I've got these from chaos knights for putting the sides, and then I've got some little horns. I've got these from chaos knights as well. These little things, and I'll show you better on this bike. These things for the front, I've got them from chaos knights. I think they're what go in the Top of it, but I didn't use them on the night. Just a chain, I think they were from Chaos Knights as well. This bit on the top is from the Hellbrook like fist cover thing. Um, so I had quite a lot of them to spare, but enough for all my bikes. So uh, yeah, so that's just to cover that, make it look a bit more chaosy. And then again, from the Hellbrook kit, are these like crowny things that go over the around the Hellbrook's head. Um, I use that for just make it look a bit more chaos at the black. Right, so there are quite a few different varieties as well, so like that one and the one. You see, it's quite cool. Spikes. And I've got an icon on there. It fit quite nicely. And then I've left that side, I'm going to put my Legion transfer there. I guess you can see that. Well, so it's just a matter of making that fit. So I've got uh, one of these, the uh, Hellbrook fist thing. If you look, if you try to slap it on now, it doesn't want to fit. So you have to snip off the, snip these flush with the bike, the, um, whatever, the little vents for the bullets, uh, bullet cases to come out of the bolters. So just snip that off flush as we can get, like so, oops, careful around the bass marine, there we go, next one, there we go, okay so that should just pop on, it does flex a bit, you have to flex it like that and it should just sit on top, like that. I think if I remember rightly, I used 
super glue for that so I can make it set instantly because obviously there's a bit of spring and two weeks it doesn't quite want to fit but it will stretch. So we don't need to super glue for that. Just put it on the side of there. central and where I want it, I want it to cover up the bit I've just snipped, the uh, vents. And give that a spray with me, magic spray. Bosh. Bosh. Turn the little holes. Hold it for a second or two. And that should be Glue it on. Beautiful. Right, next. So we'll put the little spikes on the front. So nothing special here. Just gluing them on there. Just make sure that's nice and flat. smooth so we can put the uh, all the spikes on now get these in this file as well just make sure it's flat angle them however you want, I angle them because they've got a slight curve to them, so slightly upwards and inwards. That kind of thing. Just twiddle them around until it's in the right spot. On. So yeah, now it's got a nice KRC spiky ram. Um, yep, so what's next? So now it's time for that crown thing at the back. I think from memory this one is the same as that other one, yes it is. So I have to put it on like that. And just snip some of the sides will make it fit. Did I snip it or did I file it? I'll just snip that bit off and make it the same shape as the inside of that mic. Sits on the little bar, like backrest bar that the bike has. There we go, that kind of thing. Cool looking K 
KLC bike now already. Pretty much done. So all there is for do now, and I'm just gonna glue the chain on there. Like so, and a chaos icon on the other one. The other side, like that kind of thing. So yeah, so I'll just do them and then I'll show you the finished result. Okay, so that's done. You can see the uh, everything's on now. Crown glued on. Chaos icon on the side. For the chains. For whatever nasty chaosy purposes. The only other thing I'm gonna do uh, before I move on to the bike is oh, I don't need to show you this. Is um, just drill the barrels. So I use my little old school citadel drill just drill out the barrels of the guns and then also i'll do i'll just pop a uh, so that's the, that's the standard little size i don't know what size that is it's the one that comes with the drill and then um i've got just a two two mil two millimeter don't know what that is an american drill bit for drilling out the uh exhaust pipe just makes them look a lot better than that well, I think so it's worth doing it only takes a few seconds and then I'm just gonna move on to the next bike exactly the same process um, apart from he's gonna be equipped with a mace so I can give him the black mace relic and then obviously that thing the eye to change which I showed you before Everything else is the same, uh, apart from different crown from the El Brute. This one I was going to put more like a angle like that, rather than upright like the other one, because it's longer and it goes slightly more like that. Can't really see very well. A little bit more like that. Okay, and then I think that's pretty much everything that's the same, otherwise, yep. Yeah. Still got the Chaos Biker on. The, um, the other one I did, he had, I had to, uh, that one, that's the one I just done. So, yeah, this one, I think that's the Sergeant, the hand is on the other side, so I had to find, obviously, do everything in reverse. Right, so these uh, are all finished now. I did an extra, that was the, um, that's the champion. All done. Corn symbol there. I had to just snip the bottom little teeth off the bottom of there so it'll fit onto that panel. And yep, so the icon and everything on there and his mace. And I also knocked up another one to make a squad of five in total. Yeah, you, as you can see, he was already built up as a outrider and I had him all sprayed up and ready to go from a while ago but never did it. So I've converted him into, cut, cut him off and everything, and uh, converted it over to a chaos bike here. Yeah. Oh, and on this one, I've put a little magnet on the side panel. So I can put magnetized weapons, or so I can either put a weapon on there, ma uh, melt a gun or whatever, or, uh, and then I'll put a magnet on a, a chaos symbol or something and pop that on when I don't need one. Lovely jubbly. Right, on to painting I guess now. We'll get these sprayed up uh, with black spray and then we'll get painting them. See you in the next one. And there we go. Click on the link to see how I painted them up like this. And if you enjoyed the video or got anything out of it, please consider liking this and giving me a subscribe. Anyway, nice one. See you next time.